best trip to Burning Bridge ever. Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today, you guys, we are in Columbia, Pennsylvania, back at the Burning Bridge Antique Mall. You guys, this place is filled with a lot of goodies. There's three floors, there's a basement, the main floor, and of course, upstairs. We're gonna keep the introduction short, get inside, see what we can't find for resale, and oh my gosh, I'm gonna really try to behave in here because I usually find something for myself. So uh, let's do this, guys, here we go. Here is a quick shot, you guys, of the exterior. If you've never been here before, I do recommend it. Like I said, there is a wide variety of items from antiques to contemporary, um, though it's not like one of those kind of contemporary sort, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't gonna find um, the 2000s in here. Let's walk down here to the other display. I love it. I mean, you can just tell it's a good one from the exterior right <laughs> oh geez someone else said oh all right guys 304 walnut street let's do it here we go all right guys we're gonna walk on what is over here up top always good to keep your eyes glued look at this big old nubby butt the diamond butt ellie smith Ooh, that's a good one at 550 that is not the world's worst they are getting crazy priced and then we do have some Fenton here with the thumbprint and a hobnail. We've got a Simplicity from Ellie Smith in both the green and the red. Another little Ellie Smith bittersweet. That one's cute. It's only 90. Um, oh, look at that. It almost has like some soot left in there. I don't know if it's reading that well on camera, but it is there. Check out this big old kind of like an end of day almost. I think that was a little bit more intentional. That one's 250. She's a big one, that's for sure. All right, guys, we're gonna move on and see what else we can find. Here we go. Well, it is just mid-century day here. This is a great, look at this. This is an Ellie Smith here with that moon and star and pat, no. Oh, I forget what this one's called. A great example here. This one's only 195. That's, look at the swing on this one, quite dramatic. You're gonna see that the mold, the pattern down here has been stretched out into the glass and you can see that ribbing is carried through on the swing. That's pretty epic. Really excited to see that one. And then we do have some Christmas mixed in here. Always great to see. Don't know if there's anything that's really saying take me home, but there is some cute stuff, gosh darn it. Alrighty guys, we're gonna see what else we can find. A little Halloween's left from the die cut over there. All right, we'll check back with you here in just a second. Okay, this is absolutely adorable. Look at this old blow mold. It looks to be like a toy, yeah it is. It's a toy chest here or a laundry hamper. It's a little train, look at with the little decal eyes on him. We've got some animals of course here riding along. That's absolutely adorable. We're priced at $1.95. Now there's no, um, manufacturer identified on here it looks it's reminiscent of the um the edward mobley the sun rubber they did some large toy chests uh a laundry hamper and um, a giraffe kind of little coat or hat rack you all know i have all three of those right the hamper was the kangaroo these look plastic yeah okay all righty See what else we can find, guys. Alrighty, guys, I am spotting something here hanging in a little sandwich baggie. Um, it says bar three strings Mercury Gus Garland. We have a 20 inch of 46 and a 50. Includes extra beads, which are in here. Let's see if we can get this off this hook. This is really interesting. These are old ones. I'd almost venture to say these might be 30s, judging by the shapes. And we have those two beads in there, which of course are glass. Overall good condition. So what do we have? So that's 96. So there's a total of 116 inches, but it is divided into three strands. Hmm. With extra beads. At 25. I feel like I'm going to take a risk in getting these. 
and I'm gonna hope that I'm able to string them all together to create one long strand of beads. Um, uh, I don't know. The condition looks to be relatively good so far as the paint. A little bit of paint loss on the pink, but okay, let's just do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. All right, let's see if we can find anything else here. We've got some books. Doesn't really look like there's like a lot of antique library of health. That's a big old book. My word. Ooh, binding is coming off of that one. All right, guys, I'm going to check back here in just a second. Alrighty, guys, right inside here, I am seeing a box, and you can barely see it, but it says a shiny, bright product. Um, so we've got two, four little cone angels in there at $18 with the original packaging. Now, it is marked as is. It looks like the box is pretty tattered, and I'm okay with it simply because the box is still present. And those little cuties on the interior, we're definitely going to get those out and check them out a little bit closer. All right, guys, there they are. They're out. The box again... You know what? For its age, I wouldn't even really consider that as is. I think it's pretty gosh darn good. And the angels are in great shape, so we're definitely going to pick those up. Okay, I see something in this case. Top shelf. That Fenton. Do you see it up there? It's probably going to be crazy price because it's such a hard color. <gasps> oh my god, it's only $85. That's insane. We're getting that. That's a crazy good deal. Color is so hard to find on that one. That's an exceptional deal. We're snatching that one up. No problem on that. I know it's a little pricey, but that could go for two to three times the cost on it. It's such a super hard color to get. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I am very excited right now. Let's get it out. There it is. Look at that color, that gorgeous jewel tone with that opalescence. Really excited to get this beautiful piece of Fenton. Yeah, we're definitely going to take that one too. I can't believe we just found another one. Now, if you weren't with me, I found one of these. It is in like mint condition. On this one, they have $80. It is one of the most beautiful sounds that I have ever heard come out of a tin type toy. Um, that is in my personal collection. And I will occasionally crank it up just simply because I think it sounds so beautiful. This I've also actually seen too at a local antique mall to me, Roller Mills. Um, I'm currently about an hour to the south of where I live. So cool to see that one also. Alrighty guys, let's head on downstairs and see what we can't find down here. Now this place is divided into two or three rows. I am seeing some kitchmas right off of the bat so we'll see if there's anything that we're really looking for we've got some cute stuff here but nothing is screaming for me to take it home what's down here oh no i thought that was a corsage um these are cute little pine cone angels in their original packaging 1050 noel decorations never heard of but eh. the shiny bright ones are i think superior to those all right guys we'll check out more stuff see what we can find now i do see some Miro stars over here i love these i know it's a very specific look um what do they have on it 24 for the red Miro stars, that's actually a really good deal. I think that the leaves down here could use a little dressing up, but my goodness, that is quite a mid-century look. Um, again, needs a little sprucing up down here, but I think that's well worth the 24 easily. Now you do see a little cabinet over here, and of course we've got some mercury glass garland. Oh, this is horsehair. This is actually a technique where horsehair is burnt on to create this effect. Um, they're calling it spaghetti glass. It's actually not. Is this open? It is. Hold on a second. Okay, so this horsehair, um, as it's firing, they lay the hair across it and it creates this burning effect. Um, this, truthfully, it's actually it's really looking painted on to me but it is signed right here hmm it is pottery but is it 
I don't know, you guys. Hmm, let me see something quick. Well, I did find some comps. Unfortunately, they're only selling for about $15, but gosh darn it, that would have been a cool, well, it is still a cool find. It's an unusual technique too. Uh, typically, you indigenous or the Native American population is the one um, that developed this technique. So it's still cool to see. You know, I did decide on second thought, thought to go ahead and get the Miro stars. I don't know what it is. There's something so delightfully tacky about these that I definitely want to snatch them up. Alrighty guys, we didn't find a whole lot down in the basement and that is okay because there is still a third floor for us to check out. Wide steps. <laughs> Alright guys, let's see what we can find up here. Did you look at that? There's more Miro Star. Now these ones are priced at 75 A little bit more for the going range, but I would say that condition would actually get you a few more dollars. <sighs> We're going to stick with the silver ones. I actually have some gold ones that I kind of dressed up with extra um, mercury glass ornaments. So it's cool to see those. I don't know. There's just something about them that I really like. Here's a quick overview of the entirety. Lots of furniture here obviously is running up through the middle, but we do have a right and a left. So we're going to check out both sides and see what we can find. Okay, this looks really cool. It's 125. It says it's a Fenton from 1927, a green turtle flower frog as is bruises okay so i think that's pretty cool i've never seen that before Ooh, look at that one back there french pekin Pe pekin 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 any old how it's back there <laughs> cool let's see <laughs> oh, lots of baskets it takes a special basket for me to want to get it um, it's got to be really extra beautiful, but those are kind of standard. What is this? <laughs> oh, little man, a little friar, a little monk here. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. He's a bisque doll on a cloth body. Um, he does appear to be bendable here. It's, oh, it's a gobel. Cardinal Tuck. <laughs> that face. Well, I'm a little shook. Look at all this lucite that we have here at Disappear that the candles are priced individually. What are we guessing? I'm going to guess at least 25 a candle. Uh, oh, they're pa it's a pair green with gold for 45. So we do get a pair. We get a single for 20. A pair, I'm assuming then, a pair of red, 45. We've got some more beautiful greens down here at 45. You know, not where I need it to be for resale, but it seems to be that is the going rate anymore for loose site. So, oh, we got a little one here at 18. My goodness. Don't know that I've ever seen that much loose site in one spot before. Oh my gosh, there's more over here. They have like a cachet of green and red loose site candles. Now we know where they all are. Check out these gorgeous culvers. I love these. Ooh, that's a great deco -y. It's so, oh my gosh. And check out, oh my gosh, these mandolin. Oh, those are beautiful. The coloring, the condition is excellent. How cuanto costa? 65 for this set, two, four, seven. Down here, these little ones are 78 for this set of a roly poly. Stop playing with the glass, Michael. Put it down. Wow, talk about something that is in almost like new condition. It is an acrylic or a plastic Santa here with the red felting. Look at how good. I light up on the wall. You can put me on the tree. It's 75. It says that it's tested and working. That is so cool to see. I love it. I love the graphic on here also. We've got a Noma star um, tree topper here. Some lights. Looks like a death trap to me. Oh my goodness. We have some more lights over here. What a great graphic on this box. My goodness. What's back here? Oh, we got a blow mold over here. 139 for that tree. Eventually I'll find one. Who knows? Oh, lots of records over here. We've got some more lights. Cellophane wreaths little tree here it's a little crunchy 
Alrighty. Um, I don't see anything. Oh, we've got a tinsel tree back here tucked away with no stand. It's six feet, eight inches at 335. Oh, it is a pom-pom. See it there on the ends. Cool. Here we've got some of the little trees now. Oh, 45 for this one, but it's missing its star. This one does have its star. This one's glued on. Okay, don't switch the bulbs. Oh, I think they mean these. <laughs> I was like, I won't move it. Mm. Okay, winking Christmas tree. Hmm. But I don't know if the batteries obviously need to be replaced. So I don't know if those work. The bubble light Santa. Um, oh, here's some mercury glass garland down here. Uh -huh. It's a nice ruby red. Overall good condition. Gold. I don't know what these were supposed to be at one time. A green or a turquoise. But color's pretty much gone on those. So interesting. Ooh. Look at this guy. This chalkware Santa. He's got some legs on him. That's interesting. Oh, excuse me. Jeez. Um, he's an odd little fellow. Alrighty, we got a few little mid-century glass pieces over here. Of course, our little nubby feet. This one is what's grabbing my attention. That's at $100. Um, she's cute. We're definitely not going to go on the 100 for that one, but nice to see. Ooh. Whoa. Now that is mid-century realness. Check out this baddie. Whoa. 179. Wow. That is amazing. I know it's not everybody's thing, but gosh darn it. I have never. That is an epic one. Whoa. <laughs> Now here we have some Kanawa, the little swung vases. I actually did not know this, but these do fluoresce. And I mean, they really, really fluoresce, which is pretty gosh darn cool. Um, they, stop. They have $50. Don't, I, if it was for the set, we would have snatched them up, but it is a piece, of course. Ooh, this is an interesting, look at the, oh, there's two of them right there. I've never seen... Oh, this is an effect. It's the inclusion of all these tiny little bubbles. And of course, I can't off the top of my head think of what that is. Down here, we've got some of the pink lucite with the opalescent effect. Those are 80. Hmm, ooh. Red lucite candle holders. My goodness. That's a look. Let's see. 50. 50 for that, which I don't think is overly hateful, but just not where we need it to be. I actually miss these. These are the little Lucite also. Taper candle holders. We have 45 on the set of those. Oh my gosh. It is a shoe nut piano. It says great for adult display. These were, oh, okay. They knew what it was. These were actually made for, I wonder if does it work though? Are you a working vendor to the front, please? A working vendor to the desk. Okay, here we're missing one. Missing. I gotta get this down. So here it is down. Obviously, it's a little dusty. This is a transfer image. A lot of times, the image is just so roached out. Um, Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. This was actually made for children to play on versus a, dis a doll display, but obviously it would make for a great doll display. Overall, really good antique condition. This is one of their original ones. They actually were manufacturing, Shunut was manufacturing through, I believe, the 60s and 70s. Um, here you can kind of see the back. Some of the keys that aren't working, their little hammers will be missing um, or the string has popped. It's a relatively easy fix, though I wouldn't go in there, open it up to fix it. $85 is a phenomenal deal. I am snatching this up. I am a sucker for the shoe nut stuff for some reason. It's beautiful. I love it. I am stoked about this.
Hey guys, down here we've got a 1920s Neijuan, I believe, game. The graphic on this is amazing. I'm curious, I can't tell if this is wood or cardboard. I almost want to say, no, it does look cardboard. I'm curious to see the containers on the inside of this. Um, at 45, depending on what the interior graphics are, this could be a huge steal. So we're going to check that out. So here is the interior, and while I do like uh, the graphics in here, it is unfortunately not one of the, this is just a repetition of up here, it's not one of the more dynamic ones, so it's really cool to see. It looks like almost all of the pieces are present, which is cool, but um, I'm unfortunately going to pass on that one. Darn. Best trip to Burning Bridge ever. Alrighty guys, there we have it. Today's Shop With Me video. I'm really stoked about that beautiful Fenton Green Opalescent. I can't believe we got one of those. And one of my grail items is the Shoe Nut Baby Piano. Amazing. As always guys, down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day is or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works, I'd appreciate it. And until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.